Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ask the CEO with Avraham Gatil. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the CTO with Clear Data, a company that serves the mission critical system needs and regulatory requirements of healthcare organizations. As part of this discussion, we will share how their partnership with Microsoft, the use of Azure, and the Azure Marketplace have empowered them to scale and grow their business. It's my pleasure to welcome Matt Ferrari. Welcome, Matt. Thank you very much. Excited to be here. Yeah, excited to have you here. So, Matt, when it comes to digital transformation, healthcare has typically been slow to adopt cloud-based technology due to the many industry regulations around data privacy. What are some of the challenges healthcare companies encounter when trying to innovate on the cloud? That's a great question. And uh, oftentimes, I have the privilege of speaking with healthcare organization uh, executives from providers, payers, pharmaceutical organizations. And there's this, um, there's this innova- innovation misnomer around uh, the, you know, the concept of I can't innovate if I'm leveraging the public cloud because of all of these regulations that are tying me down. Yeah. But the truth is uh, the public cloud is really innovating faster than you can in healthcare inside of your own facility um, and with the talent that you have. And you just really need to understand how to execute and maintain it in a secure, compliant, and private way. And so two of those things that I think about, uh, the first is keeping environments compliant over time. Uh, We think about three real key changes that happen inside of a healthcare environment inside of the public cloud. The first is regulatory changes. That might be changes in things like HIPAA or GDPR as it relates to the public cloud. The second is application changes as it relates to processing, storing, or transmitting PHI or you're in my patient record. And the third is changes inside of the public cloud itself. Um, Public clouds such as Azure have massive amounts of new features and capabilities that are constantly changing the way that healthcare organizations can interact with the public cloud. And then the second is really the talent gap. The truth is that uh, there's not that many healthcare organizations that have deep knowledge and understanding of the public cloud, specifically as it relates to PHI or or, uh, protected health information. And so most of these organizations have a history of talent within their data centers or infrastructure or VMware, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And so these organizations really need to understand how do I embrace all of these public cloud technologies without um, without having these capabilities in-house? Yeah, and you know, um, it's, it's a good point you bring up. Um, when it comes to cloud, cloud has the advantage of being able to leverage economies of scale. There are hundreds of thousands of clients on these same cloud providers versus what you've got in your own office. Yeah, no, absolutely. A- absolutely true. And, and look, a lot, of the, a lot of the capabilities that the public cloud brings now will actually accelerate the way that healthcare organizations leverage their own talent. You know, think about healthcare organizations that historically have been eyes on glass, monitoring the availability of their electronic medical record as an example, but now can use native public cloud services to deliver on that so they can take their IT professionals to focus on actually innovating the application or doing a better job taking care of uh, nurses, doctors, practitioners, and patients. Yeah, so, so talking about healthcare innovation, your company, Clear Data, recently launched a new offering called Clear Data Comply. So what is it and how does it support healthcare innovation? Absolutely. Well, first, Clear Data is focused 100% on healthcare and life sciences organizations. And so we built a product that you just mentioned called Comply, which is a HIPAA compliance solution that offers ongoing protection of a cloud environment. The whole concept is based on the need that healthcare organizations need to continue to innovate at scale while alleviating that risk that you mentioned around data governance, around data security, around really falling out of compliance. And so what Comply does is it's a software capability that runs on top of Azure that allows automated configuration of Azure services in a compliant way so that you know when your healthcare IT or your healthcare team spins up new Azure resources to process, transmit, or store sensitive data or PHI, it remains compliant. The truth is that most healthcare organizations can do an excellent job 
deploying services that are based on things like white paper, reference architected or well architected designs for how to deploy an environment that is compliant. But what happens when there's that, those three changes, right? A change to the application, a change to the, to the actual underlying cloud services or a change inside of the governance or the compliance ecosystem. That's yeah. what comply does. And so comply takes what we call automated safeguards or the ability to protect the healthcare environment throughout the life cycle of its application, giving a customer red, yellow, green or visibility into things that fall out of compliance and then automatically remediating those things so that they remain in compliance forever. Wow, that really takes the load out of regression testing uh, with regards to compliance. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the shorter way to say it is that I think about comply as focusing on acceleration, so accelerating the healthcare organization's capability of adopting public cloud services, automation and remediation, so identifying deviations from a state of compliance and remediating those things when they fall out of compliance to really safeguard your and my patient data. And then finally, demonstration showing in a dashboard, how compliant am I, you know, a time of Office of Civil Rights or third party audit. And all of that is steeped in helping the healthcare organization innovate, right? How can they actually move faster leveraging these services? So how would someone use this with Azure? Sure. So it lives inside of the Azure marketplace today. Uh, I would tell you that a healthcare organization can self-serve inside of that Azure marketplace and build that either into their Azure account, if they already have a enterprise agreement with Microsoft, or they can uh, speak to clear data and build it inside of the clear data managed account because there's clear data's software as comply but also healthcare managed services underneath that, that if that healthcare organization has a talent gap or a, a challenge around security compliance and privacy for PHI, ClearData has a 24 seven team that can support comply throughout the life cycle of the application. In terms of the way healthcare organization would interact with comply, there's no shim or anything in between the healthcare provider or the healthcare organization from using Azure natively. So there's no separate API as an example. Comply simply interrogates the Azure environment. So from a usability perspective, the healthcare IT professional is just using Azure natively or those HIPAA eligible services as they normally would. Wow, that sounds really simple. The, the truth is that if we're going to help a healthcare organization innovate, we can't have them learn yet another tool um, they're already spending so much time learning the public cloud and transforming not only the way their application works, but just the way their career works if you think about the individual. And so if we introduced yet another portal or yet another API for them that they were required to use, it would, it would really be a, become a bottleneck. Yeah. Now, how can customers find out more about the Clear Data Comply solution and procure it through the Azure Marketplace? Sure. So it's available in the Azure marketplace today. The quickest way to get through it would be to go to uh, www.cleardata.com slash comply dash Azure. So that would be the quickest way to get to it today. That would actually bring you right to the marketplace. Perfect. And I'll put that in the show notes so people can just click on that and get right to it. Great. So talking about Microsoft and Azure, how has partnering with Microsoft helped Clear Data scale and grow your business? Yeah, so Clear Data has been fortunate enough to have been a Microsoft partner for many years now, and we're a Microsoft Gold partner. Um, the, the truth is that Microsoft makes it faster and easier to get our enterprise customers up and running by simplifying onboarding. And we've talked a little bit about it, but the truth is that Healthcare organizations have this impression oftentimes that, wow, getting on board with the public cloud means I have to think about active directory importing and how do I get my applications over there? And I don't know how to move PHI. These kind of things are the conversations I have literally every day. And so ClearData partnered with Microsoft uh, in a couple different ways. The first is um, Azure Lighthouse. And uh, from an Azure Lighthouse perspective, it provided clear data with a new business solution that allows us to simplify authentication, authorization, and policy setup. And it 
the outcome was that it significantly reduced the time in onboarding our enterprise healthcare customers so that we can just focus on providing them the ongoing security compliance and privacy protection on top of Azure. And so with Azure Lighthouse, just as one example, our team actually increased our operational efficiencies and simplified that credential management, both on the Azure cloud, as well as in hybrid environments. And it resulted in a reduction in cost to serve while providing that consistent security compliance uh, experience when securing sensitive data. And so combinations of technologies like Azure Lighthouse and Azure Policy have really helped simplify the way that we integrate with these healthcare organizations that already have a brownfield or existing PHI applications. And for um, all the healthcare innovators out there, how can people find out more about Microsoft partnership opportunities for healthcare partners? Sure. So in terms of partnership opportunities, they can send an email to healthcareindex. So I'm sure that you'll link it up there at microsoft.com. How to connect with us would be either through cleardata.com as well as through our LinkedIn where you can search Clear Data Networks, and then finally, Twitter at Clear Data Cloud. And I'll also publish that to the show notes so people can just pull that right up. So Matt, do you have any parting words of wisdom that you'd like to share with the audience? Yeah, absolutely. So, so it's interesting timing. Uh, you can probably see that I'm, I'm work from home uh, today. Normally, I'm, I'm on the road with customers or, or in hospitals. And you know, we know that we're in the midst of really, really challenging times, you know, both within our world and, and within healthcare. Um, and look, as we're working together to attack the current uh, COVID pandemic, as well as help help healthcare organizations really improve the patient experience through secure and, and, and compliant public cloud experiences, it's incredibly important that we work together. You know, as, as I'm, you know, steeped in this every day, over the past month, what I've seen both from a Microsoft perspective, as well as healthcare organ organizations out there, is that they've been willing to really share critical data through various open source efforts, through various de-identification and anonymization efforts, and really to or in order to accelerate clinical testing and other efforts. And the truth is that the public cloud plays a really key role here. Um, not only from a scalability perspective, of course, it's the most robust option out there if you really want to, to test the power of uh, a clinical trial, as an example, but also from, you know, executed in a compliant and responsible way. I'm sure many of you out there know that healthcare breaches have been on the rise for years. Um, and it's, it's getting really, worse now. It's, it's incredibly worse now. Yeah, I mean, it's happened to my own children. And so the truth is, being able to leverage these public cloud services, but all, always have that peace of mind that you're remaining compliant and safeguarding the data while still innovating as we all try to work together, not only to beat this current pandemic, but drive other use cases in healthcare. And that, that is what's inspirational to me personally in, in my role, but, um, but hopefully for you out there who are considering public cloud or leveraging public cloud, the truth is that there are solutions like Comply and others out there that are really helping you um, having to spend your day thinking about, am I compliant or not? And just focusing on making the world a better place. And so uh, my, my parting word would be thank you for all those healthcare organizations out there that are sharing data. Um, I would encourage you to continue to do so in a responsible way. That's such a great message. I mean, that's the only way we're going to get ahead in healthcare is if we share data. I, I would agree. Matt, thank you so much for sharing your time and your wisdom. I really enjoyed having you on the show. Thank you. I, it was my pleasure.